And there we go. Okay, so I wanted to cover the two things today. One is using multiple files um, in your project. So, so far we've had a, a flat file. Uh, one file that represents the C++ class definition, its implementation, and then our main program uh, that serves to demonstrate uh, the functionality of the class that we just created. And it, it's very common in, uh, in our programming to uh, split these up into files. And we split them up so that we separate uh, the class specification from the implementation. And what this gives us is then the ability to, uh, uh, to share our class. Uh, this is the class that worked for, uh, uh, for me, or this is the corporate standard class for this kind of an object. Um, and then you can go from there and write your own implementations based on what your code requirements are. Uh, so that kind of in a nutshell is why we, uh, why we separate those. Um, I'm going to start with my iPad and just talk about how we've got essentially a, a three file structure that we're always going to go with. Okay, three files. The first two will always be named starting with the class. So let's say that we come up with a class. Um, I'm just looking around my dining room here. Hey, and look at that. I see a chair right there. So let's do a chair. This is class chair. And that means that we would then have two files that start with chair. One is gonna be chair.h. And this is where our header goes, or in other words, the class definition goes. Then we'll have chair.cpp, and that's where our implementation code is gonna be. That's where we define uh, all of the methods that belong to the chair class. And then finally, we probably have main.cpp, or um, if you've got the ability to name this in your IDE chair demo, like this, that's even better. And that's because it shows that these three files go together because they've got chair, chair, chair in them. Uh, but not all IDEs let you rename main.cpp. Xcode is one of them. It, it sort of demands that main.cpp stay there. So now then once again, each of these is gonna be serving a specific purpose. This is our class definition. And then this is where we will actually say, you know, class chair, and then we define it, okay. The second one, chair.cpp, that'll always be where we do our class implementation. And then third, this is gonna always be our demo. So what I thought we could do um, for uh, this little primer is let's actually take a file that we used, and I'm gonna share my, uh, my Xcode now. Let's actually take a file uh, that we've used and let's go through the process now of splitting this up uh, into, um, uh, into proper files, okay? Now, if we kind of scroll through this code, and this is actually the program uh, for solution uh, that we just finished, um, and this is available for you. If we kind of scan through it, well, we can see, all right, this UML right here, and the class definition itself, let me try and get the whole thing highlighted, and the whole thing itself, well, that's what's gonna belong in class.h. Okay, the movie definition and the UML. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to create some extra files here. Uh, in Xcode, it kind of makes it easy uh, where you can just simply add files. Um, I'm gonna do a new file. And then you'll have to figure out in your, um, in your IDE, how do you actually add a new file? Um, and then just remember that uh, some IDEs don't yet support multi-file uh, projects, uh, Cloud9 especially. I'm just praying for the moment when they do uh, support that because that's gonna unlock a lot of great uh, functionality. So here I'm gonna do, um, uh, let's see, movie.cpp, and Xcode's kind of nice because it then also creates a header file. 
So then now over here in my, um, in my navigation folder, you can see that I've got these new files, okay? Uh, Xcode loves to, loves to make a, a movie.h, uh, movie.hpp. So go back in just to the little um, uh, editor window there and you can change that name. All right, so here's movie.h and then we've got movie.cpp. Of course, they're blank now and then our main program. What I'm gonna do here since we have this code, I'm gonna just copy and paste it, or actually cut it. And we can move it on over. So I'm gonna cut that there. Let's go over to movie.h. And we'll paste our code right in it, okay? Now, we need to remember um, that in our header file, that we need to include an include guard. And what this does is, let's say we've got a multi-file project, but it's not just simply three files, but maybe it's 30. And maybe somewhere in there, we might have a multiple uh, declaration file. And if we get to that point where we're trying to compile a file and it's actually pointing a couple of different ways, um, it could cause a, um, a header file compilation co collision, or, and this is probably more common, um, it's just going to give you uh, uh, very weird behavior, including some, some looping. You know, you can get into weird stuff. Um, and that's because it's trying to define what's already been defined, and it keeps getting messages passed back, and, and all of that stuff. So what we do here is we throw in a, um, uh, an if there's no definition uh, directive. So that's what these are right here. And you can just use the standard um, uh, if you get a, a default thing. That's very common too to do movie underscore H all in caps. And then don't forget the end if here, make sure that that's in there too. Now, what, what these little definition directives do, they're just defining a constant. Uh, so that's a pretty clever way to just determine if this file has already been compiled is if the compiler is holding a memory allocation for this constant named movie underscore H. And if that is the case, well, then this has already been compiled and it's saying, don't touch it. If it's not, well, it's saying, okay, go ahead and compile it. So there we go. That's our, that's our, first, uh, our first step. Um, fairly straightforward, copy and paste it. Make sure you get your include guards in there. Uh, common format is just gonna be movie underscore H in all caps. Okay, so let's go back to the main one now. And we see, looking down at our code, um, that we've got now all of these method definitions that we so painstakingly um, wrote into our code. So I'm gonna just cut these and move these on over. Uh, these will go into movie.cpp. Movie.cpp uh, is gonna be important for us because it's the implementation file or it's got um, all of the method definitions um, for the class that we're implementing. And of course here, I'll change that to movie.h. And then just the other thing, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just doing guerrilla coding kind of in and out to show this functionality. Uh, please ignore the, the function headers because we'd have to get those. Um, but movie.cpp, that's actually a C++ file. So we need to uh, do all of the usual stuff that would get a C++ file to compile. So, so we'll do IO stream. Um, maybe C standard library if we need it. Uh, using namespace standard. But then super important here is that we are gonna include movie.h. So that's the kind of the second thing to note in a multi-file structure is that both of the files that we created that are new will need to include movie.h. Um, so both of them that are entering in CPP really, we need movie.h. So I'm gonna go back to main here and then let's do that real quick too. Here we go, movie.h. And, um, and we need that in both of our .cpp files so that the compiler knows, all right, well, where is the class definition uh, for our, um, our movie class, okay? Now, I mentioned that we do need 
to treat this as a C++ program. Fortunately, you know, we don't need to include uh, the main function because that's going to be in our main.cpp file. Uh, so this is really about it. That's really about all we'll need here um, to get this thing up and running. Let's go back up to, uh, to main now and just do a quick double check and make sure everything looks good. Um, since we are including main.cpp, um, it knows where to go for the movie class definition. All right, and then I've got my input.txt right here. Uh, that's the movies. And then I think we're just ready to, to compile this. Oh, we got some fail here, what happened? All right, hang on one second. Okay, there we go. Uh, we've got this debug. Yep, yeah, uh, sometimes uh, if you've got strings um, or if you've got some things, you might need to put uh, using namespace standard in your, um, in your header file. Uh, Eclipse may or may not require that, um, but sometimes if you need to, uh, you might need to include that. Um, so uh, here we go. We've got then uh, a clean build. And then there's our movie data right down there showing um, that we've got uh, those objects successfully created and then plugged into the uh, plugged into the array, the four element array. All right, so that's kind of the uh, the quick primer then on how to uh, split up our file into a multi-file project. And again, the key things to remember are uh, don't forget your include guards. Uh, you may or may not need the namespace statement. Um, the CPP files, both of them, need to be able to compile cleanly. So you've got to have include IO stream in there using namespace standard, um, and then make sure that they're both including your, uh, your header file movie.h. All right, so that is multi-file projects. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording.